Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Panos, Panayotis Karanios, uh, really long name, <laughs> actually. Today, uh, I have the pleasure to uh, talk uh, to you about uh, a story of uh, a deployment of uh, WSO2 identity server in uh, a European municipality um, and uh, the result of uh, this task. Uh, are there any people that uh, they are familiar with uh, uh, identity server in this room? OK. Uh, are there any people that are familiar with uh, general data protection regulation? OK, perfect. And uh, do we have anyone from uh, public sector uh, organization? Ah, OK. <laughs> One. OK, so. Uh, the story is uh, about the city of Heraklion. We'll talk about Heraklion uh, in the, the next slide. Uh, in this presentation, we will describe the previous situation uh, in uh, Heraklion city, the proposed solution that uh, uh, we deployed. Some lessons learned uh, uh, of all this uh, process and uh, the benefits of, uh, for municipalities of using the WS2 identity server. And uh, at the end, uh, we'll talk about, uh, I will tell you some things about my, uh, my company, uh, ITD Digital Transformation. So, Heraklion. Heraklion uh, City, ha anyone that uh, uh, has visited uh, Heraklion? Oh, free, <laughs> nice. Uh, Heraklion is a very nice uh, city, as uh, you see. It's the administrative capital of the uh, island of uh, Crete. It's the fourth largest uh, city in, in Greece, with about uh, 100,000 uh, citizens. Uh, Three million tourists every year visit, uh, visit the uh, Heraklion city. And uh, Heraklion city is a municipality that uh, uh, take, uh, uh, give a lot of attention in uh, new technologies, so uh, it, w it was awarded at uh, one of the 21 uh, awards smartest communities in uh, 2014. Uh, something very interesting about Heraklion is that it's the basement of uh, University uh, of Crete, uh, uh, the Technological University. Uh, of CRED. Uh, there are IT infrastructure at the moment, uh, and the IT infrastructure that we, we, we built in this uh, project uh, was a web portal with uh, more than uh, 6,000 6, active uh, users, um, a case management system for uh, 700 employees that they were using every day, um, email based on open source uh, uh, email server Postfix and Horda for their webmail application, various mobile applications for citizens and uh, for employees, uh, e-payment uh, gateway, and uh, various uh, WordPress sites for um, organizations uh, that uh, are uh, affiliated to municipality. So, the identity management task, why uh, uh, the municipality wanted uh, to use uh, a, an identity management solution. Uh, as uh, you saw in the previous uh, 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 slides, uh, there were many applications uh, inside the uh, infrastructure of the uh, municipality. Every infrastructure, uh, every uh, application had their own uh, users, so unification of uh, users and uh, to have a unique profile for each users, not to have a, a duplication, uh, was, uh, was an issue. Of course, an issue was also GDPR compliance. Uh, GDPR uh, is effective uh, from uh, 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 May of uh, 2018, uh, so municipality uh, has uh, to be compliant with, uh, with the regulation. Uh, unification also of the authentication process to have a single sign-on uh, procedure uh, was uh, part of uh, the task. 
and of course to provide new options of authentication, even uh, social authentication for tourists uh, and uh, citizens, uh, but also authentication through uh, strong authentication through uh, the national uh, identity uh, provider. We'll talk about uh, it later. Uh, so, the team that uh, uh, was created uh, uh, for this uh, target was uh, University of Crete that had uh, various of applications uh, in the municipality, National Technical University of Athens, uh, that they were uh, the LDAP, uh, they had experience in uh, uh, LDAP uh, uh, systems, and uh, uh, the company that uh, uh, I'm representing, uh, IT Digital Transformation Services, that we are specialized in uh, WSO2 identity server uh, solutions. So, what was the solution, Why, uh, the proposed solution? Uh, first of all, we had to recreate uh, and sanitize actually the LDAP uh, infrastructure. After all these years, uh, the LDAP infrastructure um, was not in, in, in a, in a uh, good condition, so we need to, to rebuild uh, the, uh, the, the, the server and also uh, the various uh, schemas. Another uh, task was uh, the user migrations from portal database and other applications. We had to unify uh, the users and create all these users to the uh, new, new LDAP uh, uh, schema. Uh, we, we used uh, WSO2 identity server for the identity management as uh, the core identity management solution. And uh, we used a national identity provider. In Greece, uh, we don't have EID, but uh, uh, we have uh, a unique uh, login in the uh, uh, Ministry of uh, Finance. Uh, this uh, identity provider pr provides uh, an uh, OAuth uh, uh, to uh, interface, so uh, it's easy for uh, organizations, the public organizations in Greece to, uh, to use it. Uh, and of course, a main task was the migration of the various applications to SAML to or OAuth uh, to authentication. And actually that was uh, the most um, difficult uh, uh, part of the uh, solution. Uh, to go from the legacy systems, the, the legacy type of authentication, to, uh, to sample and oath. Why, why uh, the municipality uh, preferred to use the WS2 identity uh, server? First of all, it's a software, it's a platform that is GDPR uh, ready. Uh, you don't have to do a lot of things by yourself in order to be uh, compliant. I will explain later uh, about uh, the GDPR compliance through WSO2 Identity Server. Uh, it gives us the chance to uh, have a centralized identity, of course. Uh, we could use existing uh, user stores, uh, but uh, in that case, uh, even if it was in the plan in the beginning, uh, at the end, uh, we decided to migrate all the other user stores to the, the central uh, LDAP uh, infrastructure. It supports various options of uh, inbound authentication, as uh, we said, SAML, OAuth, GWT. Uh, it has self-registration ready, so it was easy uh, to get on board the uh, new, uh, new accounts. And of course, it was fully open source that uh, it as you know, Greece uh, uh, is uh, in financial crisis for the last 10 years, so uh, the budget uh, is uh, quite low. So uh, it was a solution that uh, the municipality could start using by day one uh, without having an extra fees in, uh, in licensing uh, schemes. And of course, the existence of WSO2 as a company, as a vendor, uh, it was an option that uh, any time uh, the municipality could use it uh, to have uh, 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 to extend 
the, the support of the project. So, GDPR compliance achieved. Uh, of course, uh, it was achieved, uh, especially in the, the most crucial part that, was, uh, that is the user management. First of all, we have single handling of users. Imagine if uh, the municipality has to be compliant uh, and uh, 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 be compliant for each user store and each application that uh, has uh, already running. So unifying the, uh, the users, uh, you have just one uh, place to, to be compliant, so it is the main user store. Uh, you have the self-care user portals. portals uh, so the WSO2 identity server has a self-care user portal, so it's easy for the users to access rectified, uh, to revoke their consent, and to have data portability uh, for the for the data. That is uh, a, ready, a solution that is ready and robust. Uh, you have uh, consent management uh, uh, in WSO2 identity server, and of course. Uh, you are compliant uh, in terms of strong authentication. Uh, WSO2 had a very crucial role in the whole GDPR task for the municipality, and of course you can uh, have uh, more information about the compliance and the documentation of, uh, of the product. But uh, let me also tell you about some lessons learned uh, about this uh, procedure. Migration, the users' migrations from all these various user stores seems easy, but it's not. It's a very painful procedure, and it has a lot of cost that it's difficult for a software to solve it. You need manpower. You need someone to uh, sanitize your data, sanitize your, your users. WSO2 uh, is a great, a great a really great platform to create custom solutions keeping the core solution stable. So if you want to use your WSO2 identity server in the core of your infrastructure, it gives you with uh, the APIs that uh, WSO2 has um, a really good platform to, uh, to develop. But uh, unfortunately, uh, especially for uh, uh, previous uh, editions, uh, the use of uh, React or other mainstream uh, JavaScript uh, uh, solution instead of uh, Jaggery, it would be better for, uh, for example, the self-care portal or uh, other uh, applications that comes with uh, WSO2 identity server. So next steps. Uh, next steps is to extend the applications that they are using uh, identity management uh, platform in Heraklion City. Uh, there are also other uh, municipalities uh, in Crete that uh, they, they want uh, also to use uh, WSO2 identity server as their identity management uh, system and follow the paradigm of, uh, of Heraklion. A very interesting idea is uh, starting extend, ex exchanging users uh, with, uh, municip with other municipalities, uh, universities, uh, the prefecture uh, in Crete in order to share applications uh, with a unique, uh, unique account. Uh, a thought after that is the, the use of identity management infrastructure to private companies. Uh, and uh, create loyalty schemes between private companies and uh, public, uh, public sector bodies. And uh, something very interesting that uh, is coming, uh, it's, uh, it's a product actually that uh, we also develop uh, as, a, as a company. Uh, it's a product called Eponymous Online. It, uh, it is based on WSO2 identity server, and uh, we are going to integrate it in uh, Heraklion uh, City. Uh, it is a product uh, that uh, is strong authentication th through qualified digital certificates. Uh, EI does regulation uh, qualified uh, uh, digital certificates. So let's sum up. 
the benefits for municipalities in Europe. In Europe. Uh, the problem or uh, uh, the chance for the, the municipalities is uh, regulation. We have EIDAS, we have GDPR, and European uh, public sector bodies, they have to be compliant with this, this regulation. Uh, so it's uh, products like WSO2 Identity Server, they offer a, a, a very robust solution for easy GDPR uh, and uh, compliance and EIDAS uh, compliance as well. Uh, of course, in a practical way, they give a unique identity experience for public servants and citizens. You know, uh, you have a single way of authentication, reduced cost of development in your application. Imagine that now, uh, from now on, uh, identity management is a standard uh, for uh, for municipality. So its new application uh, will will have to follow uh, this uh, this pattern. Uh, sharing identities with other private and public sector authorities and the academia. And uh, I, I think there are a lot of uh, reasons that uh, uh, municipalities should uh, have the solutions. Uh, so a few words about uh, IT digital transformation. Uh, we are a company based in uh, Cyprus with customers at the moment in Cyprus, Greece, and the Balkans. And uh, we provide uh, digital transformation solutions based in WSO2 programs, especially in WSO2 identity management. Thank you very much.